Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Space Base and adding a random mechanic into the game. So what we have here is our game of the day, Space Base. And we will switch over into our other camera view here. And we have this wheel of mechanics here. So we'll spin it and this will give us a random mechanic that we have to try and design around or insert into the game space base. So we got hidden roles. So I'm gonna pull up my five minute timer because we don't want to ideate forever. And we will start that timer and figure out how to get hidden roles into space base. So hidden roles is a mechanic where everyone takes on a role or power within the game that is hidden. And uh, the name in itself is pretty self-explanatory. So how I would go about doing this is, hmm, so we got to have our hidden role card. And I think, hmm, so our hidden role, my initial thought was that there'd be a requirement up here for like maybe you want three cards upgraded under the six action slot or something like that and once you have achieved the pattern that it's looking for on the board so maybe you want three on the six and one on the ten uh, you would be able to slot this into the two spot and it would act as like a game breaking power um, where you can't upgrade it for the rest of the, the game and it would only activate on player other players turns um, something like that hey Josh how's it going I'm glad you like the new mic um, but that's not really a hidden role, so I don't, that is one option. So that's sort of a hidden ability that you can unlock by following a pattern. So we'll call that hidden ability, hidden ab. Uh, the other option is that there is, so other games that have hidden roles, so Nemesis has hidden objectives, so I think that's kind of what we're taking on here. Um, coup has hidden roles, so I guess there'd be maybe a guessing element that we could try and do. And so the first thing that popped into my head is in Cosmic Encounter, uh, the Filch in the game has a hidden role where you can steal cards from the deck as long as no one is looking. And there would be potentially a hidden ability that you can do of spending three coins to get one victory point. But everyone would have this different ability here that they're trying to do when it's not their turn, when no one's looking. And this would be like a power. And if you get caught, you have to reveal it and it would block out. Um, similar to those, these scoring, the, I think they're station cards, maybe, but the ones that are bulk victory points that you can't play yeah, these guys. So similar to these cards that have the victory points that you can buy in bulk and it basically turns off you being able to activate that section on your turn there. That would be the punishment of getting caught where that would go down and say this is the seven power. It would lock out your seven so you can no longer activate it on your turn. How's it going, Amy? Uh, I appreciate that you like the AI art. Man, I got a whole crew watching today. Are you guys supposed to be working? I guess it's still a little early. But that is... So our four-minute timer is up. And so to recap, our challenge today was to get hidden... Rolls into space space 
which is our game of the video. And how we did that is we came up with two options. Our first option was that everyone would get dealt a hidden ability that you need to meet a certain pattern to unlock it. And so for this example, you'd need to upgrade six car, three cards into your six slot, and you'd need to upgrade one card into your 10 slot to be able to put this on the two space of your board. And then whenever you activate a two on your turn, you'd get this really strong ability. So maybe traditionally, I think the two power or the, the spots, the two slot spots are like game one coin or two coins. Maybe this is a, a six coin power. And so that is one option of ways to add in a hidden roll ability into the game. The other is that there is a sneaky uh, power that you can do when it's not your turn to manipulate your board state. And if you get caught doing it as a punishment, you would you you'd have to play the card out to your board to block your ability from being able to activate that column for the rest of the game. So those are the two concepts that we came up with in our five minute design space to add in a hidden element to space base. And how I would test those is I'm more drawn to the ability type cards. So I take time to create these hidden ability cards. I do one for each action slot and I would reference, I'd basically take whatever some of the stronger power cards are for each of those slots, probably like the cards come in different levels. So these, uh, I would take a, maybe a three, some of the three powers and not quite double it, but I would times it by one and a half for each of the actions, like one through 12 action slots. So we'd have 12 different hidden abilities that you could shuffle up and deal one to each person per game. And then we'd have to come up with the pattern that we'd try and make for each one of them. And so I would probably, uh, make it so that this would be the in the pattern you're trying to build would be the inverse of the slot that you're trying to put it into to not make the game super broken. But once I had those 12 cards, the next time we played space base, I'd ask the group if they, I made a kind of house rule variant of powers that I'd like to test out. And if they were willing to give it a go, I would explain the rules of this hidden powers and we would play space base with a hidden trader ability or not trader, hidden roll ability. Uh, let me know what you think of this concept in the comments below. And thanks for stopping by.